Hello. So today's video is going to be about how you prepare to have your eggs removed and frozen for fertility future. Um, so when I first met with a medical oncologist, one of the things that they talked about that would be at risk is my fertility. Um, just with radiation and chemotherapy, it's possible that my hormones, that my ability um, to actually become fertilized is at risk. And so they recommend that I speak to the um, fertility clinic. And we went and yesterday was actually when I had 18 eggs removed and now frozen. And they're in a good state where basically they can be um, <laughs> fertilized and put back inside me whenever I feel ready for that. So at age 28, 18 eggs, that'll always be age 28. It's kind of cool. Um, but so in this video, you'll see kind of how I prepare the hormones um, that they had me take. Um, so I met with the oncologist, or not oncologist, sorry, um, the, uh, no, the OB dine who specialized in fertility and um, it kind of like a, a specialty called REI. If you look up what that stands for. Um, so I met with her on Monday of last week and then the next day I started with two out of the three hormones and they were subcutaneously injected in my stomach. Um, well, like around my belly button. And then on Saturday, I had a follow up with them where they did an ultrasound and also blood work to see that I was responding well and on track for everything. And that night they added a third um, subcutaneous injection that you'll see um, when you get to the part. So the video includes me preparing the different needles um, and then showing the injection. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to type them and I'll respond to them. You know, freezing your AIDS could be whether you are about to start chemotherapy and radiation treatment, or perhaps you're uh, in your 20s, maybe early 30s, and not ready to have kids, but like the eggs at that age and just want to prepare for the future. So I hope you enjoy this video. And like I said, if you have any questions, just type it up. First one I'm going to do is the one that starts with N because the dose doubled and it kind of hurts. So first things first is I gotta get the air out because I just changed the needle. 
get to it. All right. Make sure I know which side is up. I am a bit bloated since I started doing this. I thought it was related to food. They called me today. Said it's because of all the injections of estrogen. Fun stuff, if you ask me. Made it make a lot more sense. Done. Oh, there it is. That went pretty fast. Okay. The next one is this one that also starts with G Gana Relux Acetate. This one was just started on day five when they increased everything and comes already done. Unlike the other ones. It goes so much faster in though than the higher dose of the M1. Probably has something to do with all the bloating. But it just takes it. Okay, and then the last one is the good old Gonal. I think that's how you say it. That looks like an EpiPen. Mm. Do that one over here too. This one, I swear, is like the smallest needle. And all done. So I just put the little cap on. Now it says zero instead of 150. Wipe my stomach off one more time. And that's that. That's it. That's how I went from 11 to 19 eggs ready in two days. I hope you typed it up. I actually had the surgery yesterday and I'm really bloated now. Um, but it's kind of like having a normal period. It's going away pretty well. And um, a week from today is when I start my actual um, glioblastoma treatment where I'm going to get my chemotherapy and my uh, radiation treatment. So I hope that this was very useful for you though and that you kind of see what happens as you're preparing to have your eggs frozen. Um, it was an outpatient surgery, so I wasn't allowed to eat for like almost uh, 20 hours because they said don't eat anything after midnight on Wednesday and Thursday was when I had the procedure, but I did go and get steak afterwards and it was so good. I love food so much. Um, so like I said, if you have any questions, you know, whether you're about to start chemotherapy, why I did this, or if you're just curious because you have a general life and are looking to freeze your own eggs, uh, let me know what you think. It'd be great if you typed out and let me know. See you later.